I first started this YouTube channel a few years ago. I expected it to be like way further along by now. Like it has taken a ridiculous amount of time and work to get here. But a few years ago, I was just a cocky kid who thought that people would like me simply for existing. I didn't realize then that to gain respect, I actually had to put in effort. It took me a little too long to realize that, but once I did, once I started putting in effort and trying to improve myself as a content creator, no nothing happened. I still didn't grow. So I started to get pissed off. And actually, I wasn't pissed off because I wasn't growing. I was pissed off because I started to notice something. Low effort videos. The exact thing that I was once doing myself, I started to notice other people doing. And not just some eight-year-olds making some shitty Minecraft Let's Plays. I was noticing low effort videos from some of the biggest names in the community. It was kind of odd because I wasn't able to actually identify low effort videos until I tried making something I was actually proud of. I would work my ass off on a video that barely got a thousand views. And at the same time, I would watch other content creators have texture pack releases for 100,000 subscribers. No wonder I thought I could get here without effort. So I'd watch this happen time and time again. I'd pour my soul into a video that got no attention. And a big old YouTuber would pump out another generic PvP montage and get a couple of hundred thousand views. So what started to happen is I got this like immense appreciation for any growth that I saw on my channel. Anyone who actually watched my videos, I appreciated quite a bit, you know? Any recognition I got at all felt earned because I worked hard for it. I mean, regardless of if my videos back then were good or not, that's totally subjective, but I worked hard for it regardless. So I thought to myself, if I ever get as big as these guys, I will not take it for granted. And I'm sure it's not gonna release a f***ing texture pack for 100,000 subs. I didn't understand how anyone could do that. Like, do you not understand how big of a deal 100,000 subs is? It's like you don't even give a shit. But now I think I get it. I get why these people put these low effort videos out for 100,000 subs. It's because if success is just handed to you, you don't appreciate it. Sure, it might feel nice in the moment, but when the euphoria fades away, you'll realize you haven't grown as a person or a content creator. If you don't have a story to tell, there was no journey for you. Nothing to look back on, nothing to be proud of. So why give a shit when you hit 100,000 subs? And that's my biggest piece of advice for aspiring YouTubers. Make something you're proud of. Never stop trying to improve. And when you see somebody bigger than you who's making shitty, low-effort content, use the anger you feel to inspire you and pass them the fuck up. Make something better than them. Prove to the world why you should be at the top. Don't just expect it. And when you do eventually get to the top, you'll be proud of the journey you've taken. So with that said, thank you so much for 100,000 subscribers. I don't take a single acehole for granted. My 100k special is gonna f***ing prove how much I care about this milestone. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep it fresh. See you guys in a few years when it's done.